Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Windows 11 has now been out for a while. Uh, some of you have been able to get it, many of you not. Uh, you can read my article about how to make Windows 11 work on your computer, maybe. Uh, I mentioned that before, but th for those of us who do have Windows 11, um, it doesn't seem like there's that much that's new or different. Now, the other day I discovered a brand new feature in Windows 11 that you've probably never even heard about. So, let's take a look at this snazzy new feature. All right, so here we have uh, three windows. Uh, there we go. And uh, what I was doing the other day is I was just sitting around and I, I moved my mouse cursor up over the maximize button and I left it there for just a fraction of a second too long and suddenly this crazy little box popped up. And I was like, what the heck is this? Oh, this must be something to do like with snapping windows or something. Well, that's cool. Let me see how it works. Well, let me pick this one. Split screen down the middle. When you do that, it says, oh, which other window do you want to pick? And I'm like, uh, this one? And you go, wow, that's actually pretty cool. And I'm like, well, all right, but the snap thing, I mean, you can, you can grab the title bar and drag it down. And of course, it will uh, restore it to its previous size. But what if I want to put it in the exact position that it was in before? Well, if I click the maximize button once, it will maximize it. And if I click it again, it restores it. So I just go like that, like that. And there you go, you're done. The other thing is, if you, if you have a couple windows snapped here and you minimize it, uh, and then you maximize it again, it'll remember. Uh, you can double click on the title bar as well to unsnap them instead of doing the maximize uh, twice thing. So it's a pretty handy feature. I mean, snap before was a little bit of a pain. You can, you know, you can still drag a window to the side and everything, but this just kind of makes it easier because it's like if you, have, if you have a bunch of windows open, let's double click to restore those, you know, and you want to do like a, a group of three or something, you just go, yeah, three. And then I'm like, uh, yeah, this one here and that one there. And then if I want to restore them, double click on a blank spot on the title bar and boom, you're done. It's a really cool feature. And like me, you probably had no idea it even existed. Now, this brings us to the topic of Microsoft and how they never, ever, ever tell us what the fabulous new features of their operating systems and other uh, software applications are. Um, this has annoyed me for quite some time. I remember about like maybe, I don't know, it was 10, 15 years ago, uh, you know, Steve Jobs would get on stage and he'd be like, you know, introducing Mac OS 10 dot whatever. This changes everything. And he would sit there and he would say like, uh, we've totally redesigned the Finder. Never mind that the Finder looked exactly like it did before. It was just a little bit different. And he would say like, you know, the Finder has no more buttons because no buttons is the new buttons. And everyone would be like, oh, no buttons, it's the new buttons. And if you talk to any Mac user, they would be able to recite word for word what Steve Jobs had said about all these new features in the Mac OS operating system or whatever, the iPod, the iPhone, whatever he was talking about. It was like every Mac user knew every single new feature in their operating system. And then you contrast this with Microsoft. And even up to the current day, we have things like Microsoft says they're going to give a presentation on Windows 11. And so you go, ooh, that sounds exciting. Maybe I'll watch it. So you start watching it and you have to sit through like things like every single person getting on there saying, hi, my name is George. I am a white Caucasian male, blah, blah, blah. I identify as like a tree or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's all fine. But, and of course they said later, oh, it's for the visually impaired because we want it to be nice to everybody and blah, blah, blah. And like, okay, that's fine. But I just want to know about Windows 11. So I watched the rest of the presentation and they didn't say anything about Windows 11. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't actually, it's like usually when you're making a product and you're trying to sell it, what you actually want to do is convey to the possible purchaser or end user of that product why they want to use your product versus the competitors. But they don't ever do that. Um, and of course, as we all know now, Windows 11 is kind of like a facelift to Windows 10. And especially considering that wouldn't Microsoft want to kind of talk up the features in Windows 11? Wouldn't they want to make sure that everyone knew the super awesome stuff, get everybody excited about it, get everybody talking on social media about it, you know, get, get everybody kind of jacked up about it, right? Especially considering that with Windows 10, especially with Windows 10 updates, um, I did a video on, two videos actually, on how to fix Windows updates. Um, and yeah, there's a very large percentage of people who, no matter what they do, uh, they cannot get Windows Update working. Their Windows installation is basically borked. 
and it's been kind of a disaster. In fact, it's been one disaster after another with Windows 10 updates. So if I'm Microsoft, I'm going to be going, hmm, right, I know people are kind of pissed off with us, so let me actually try and write. We fixed all the update stuff with Windows 11, and on top of that, look at all this great stuff we're getting. Look at all, look at all this great stuff we're giving to you. But yeah, they don't do that. So that's kind of frustrating. I really wish, like, I have a dream that one day it would be like Windows 12 is coming and, you know, just give me a nice summary. Like, make a video and put it on YouTube, like, showing all the wonderful new features of the operating system. They just don't do that. Or if they do, no one ever sees it because, like, they hide it under their couch or something. It's just bizarre. Anyway, so... That, uh, that snap pop-up, that is actually a new feature in Windows 11. Um, I think it's pretty handy, it's pretty cool, it's actually a good idea. And I'm curious to know, uh, those of you who do have Windows 11, have you discovered anything else as I did, uh, probably by accident? Uh, if you have, leave a comment below and let me know, because most likely there's other cool stuff that Windows 11 does that I don't know about either. So, um, right. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.